Hey, what's going on, guys? In today's video, we're gonna be making a fucking tank. Yeah, all right. Now I'm joking. Hey, anyway, today, uh, I fucking forgot. <laughs> Yo, what is going on, guys? In today's video, we're gonna. I don't know. All right, so what's going on, guys? In today's video, we're gonna be making a. That sounds too like. <laughs> Alright, yo, what is- Alright, fuck, bro. What is going on, guys? In today's video, we are going to be making- Fuck, I don't know! Uh, uh, melting text tutorial. Um, uh, uh... Alright, in this video, we are going to be making a fucking, um, the, the melting text- Melting text tutorial. Let's get into the video. Uh, yeah, straight into the video. Boom. Load up Photoshop. Yes, yes, yes. First thing, of course. Yep. All right. It does not matter what size your thing is. All right. Now this works for logos and everything. So text as well. Fancy Keasley, of course, or Killy Group, to be honest. Uh. All right. So I'm gonna just put high, just like that. All right. And now we're gonna put it right here. So now we're gonna make this text right here melt or like have a cool effect. So what you want to do is you want to click here, actually change the background. I mean, you don't have to do this, but I like to do it like it, lo it looks better. All right. To, instead of having a like black, just have like gray. There you go. That just looks better. All right. Uh, no, it doesn't. <sighs> My bad. Change it to black. Boom. Now here, control J to duplicate and click convert smart object. Once you've done that, go to the smudge tool. It's on. You're probably gonna see blur tool. Click right click the blur tool and smudge tool. Then what you want to click, you just want to click. Yep, and then okay. And now what you want to do is you wanna just wanna fucking. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry for swearing. Um, you just okay. Hold on. So you just wanna like, like you know what I mean? Like just do that. And then here you just wanna do the same. Boom. And then here, just do that. Okay, that's a bit too much. All right, hold on. Let's not do the middle one first. Um, you know what I mean? You just gotta, you just gotta do that. You know, you do what you, you know what I mean? Okay, but how am I supposed to do this? All right, so just do like, you know, just spread the edges out or whatever you want. Yo, hey, hold on. Pause. All right, there you go. There you go. That works. Not really. Hold on. This annoys me. All right, there you go. All right, I think that works. So as you can see, it's kind of like melting. Cool. W. Yep. All right, cool. Now what you can do is you can actually control J this. Go to the blending options. So double click and you can turn off. Okay, wait, what? I'm so confused. I gotta sneeze. Ah, fuck, man. Oh, uh, uh, fuck. All right, no, I don't. <laughs> All right. Uh, damn. All right, bless me. Um. Uh. All right. So. <coughs> <coughs> Why is there no option for color here? Boom. Now it should work. I was dumb. All right. So, don't do gradient map right now and just yet. Click blending options. You're gonna have these options right here uncheck R and boom, you're going to have this little cool color control J that boom, click here, blending options. And now you want to check off this. And now you have this little cool blue one. You want to control J again. You want to right click your blending options and then you're going to check R and then check B. I mean, don't check B and boom, you're going to have this. Now I can control T and then use the arrow keys two times or three or maybe four. Uh, I'm a three, three, three. All right. Now go to the bottom one or the one under and do one, two, three or do two go to go yeah two and then go to the bottom one no one all right there you go now you have no don't do one all right that was a mistake my bad uh yeah so it should look like this 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 is one of the effects now before anything if you only have this you can use a gradient map like this and you can do these german colors right here uh so you got uh black here black here red here yellow here and then white there it should look something like this um let's see so color looks best so it looks kind of like more realistic if you know what i mean i 
I think. I think it does. I'm not sure. Um, if so, you can just mess around with the with the things. All right, but it looks kind of more realistic, if you know what I mean. You can also, if you have done that, you can merge all of these and Control J, of course. Don't need these anymore. You can add noise to this. Add noise. Okay, that's a bit too much. You can add a good amount like this. Should look something like this. Now what you can do is you can go to filter, camera raw filter. And you can wait for it to load. All right, now you can do whatever color you want. So temperature, you can put that up. Exposure, you don't really have to do anything. Boom, just mess around with these settings right here. Oh yeah, texture, just bring that to zero. Clarity, bring that to, to, to fucking do whatever you want. Uh, boom, boom. Should look something like this. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so this works for anything. You can do this for logos. Uh, and anything it's like a cool effect I just showed you guys uh, and I will actually show you another example of what I mean by you can do by logos because uh, as you guys guys know I have this logo right here and look at the effect so you see what I mean it just adds like the little thing it looks cool and yeah I hope you guys did enjoy and smash a like subscribe and peace out